to Transition a Healthy Self, where you'll find videos of Tiffany, that's me, Transition to a Plant-Based Diet. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the little bell so you can stay tuned for my weekly videos and get notified when they, well, pop up on the channel. Okay, so I know I've already made my video for the week. However, I've received a lot of questions in my social media network. So I was inspired to make this video of the top five things to consider before going plant-based or vegan. Disclaimer, I'm only going to be addressing plant-based on a diet change, not the actual vegan lifestyle. What's your why? Why do you want to go plant-based? Why do you want to go vegan on a diet change? Is it because maybe a whole bunch of other people are doing it? Is it a close friend that's doing it? Or is it for health reasons? Or maybe you just want to decrease your carbon footprint on the environment. What is your why? Think health, not junk. For example, overindulging on regular cow's milk ice cream versus overindulging on almond milk ice cream. They're both the same thing. Overindulging is overindulging. You need to think health. For example, instead of doing a lot of rice, maybe you can do quinoa. Instead of doing maybe noodles, you can do zucchini noodles from straight zucchinis. So you just wanna to try to find or think about, are you willing to do healthier options of your everyday food? Discipline and self-patience. Okay, so we all know that when it comes down to changing something, there has to be a little bit of discipline to it. For example, are you someone who likes to go out and educate yourself? Are you someone who likes to go out and read and get information? Well, those things are gonna be important when you're removing meat from your diet if you're going to a plant-based diet. I say that because your body requires certain minerals, vitamins, and nutrition. And yes, of course, animals do have those vitamins and nutrition, but you can also get them from having a plant-based diet. So it's really important to know, are you willing to go out and get that information so that way you can be living a healthier lifestyle in addition to getting all the nutrition that your body needs to function on a daily basis. Feedback. Now, not everyone who transitions to a plant-based diet receives positive feedback, especially from friends and family. Um, at the end of the day, you need to know, it goes back to your number one, your why. If you know why you want to do this, it will really be the force that keeps you on the course. Cliche, I know, but it really will. So when you get that negative feedback or positive feedback, it really doesn't change you too much. It actually keeps you going the course. Detox. Okay, so I know a lot of you are like, oh, I detox tea every day, but I'm not just talking about detox tea. I'm talking about a full parasitic cleanse of maybe your colon or that particular lower area. I'll put some information down below in the description so you can see what I'm talking about, about a full detox cleanse before transitioning into plant-based vegan diet. All right, guys, so I hope that this answers your questions, these five tips and five things to think about before going plant-based on your lifestyle change or diet. Okay, if you still have questions, please put them below in the comment section so I can answer them. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or two. <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can stay tuned for my weekly videos. And remember, if you are transitioning in any area, don't forget to be positive, be patient with yourself, and most of all, inspire, educate, and make someone laugh today. Thanks for watching. Catch you at the next video. Bye.